keep in mind that civil society participation is just not, let's say, a small or a minor um, point we have somehow to add because now everybody is talking about participation so we also need participation in, in science and innovation. But to say no, it has a transformative power. Because if we take it seriously, then you have to admit that we will have different research projects if we integrate civil society organizations because they will bring in uh, different point of views, different experiences and different objectives. It is about transforming society. It is about uh, empowering people. So just if we admit that we live in a democratic system and that representative democracy is not everything, so that we need also more participation in our democracy, so how to make come in civil society organizations and citizens, and, um, and what this uh, democratic uh, game can give them back, so it gives them back power, what is somehow the basics of democracy, huh? it's, uh, and, um, but it makes them also then more confident. If we co-construct projects, innovation, and finally society, if we do it with the people, of course they are much more involved in the, uh, in the solutions we are preparing, and they, on the one side they can more easily accept them, they are more uh, sized to what they need, and, uh, and it makes so a uh, very alive living of, of what is uh, democracy. A lot of people, and the Brexit is one example for this, they just felt lost in the system like it works today. So the happiness, what we are always showing and what should be for everybody, it is not. So a lot, a lot of people, they just feel excluded. And so it would help to, to include the people, to make them come in and, okay. and that they can benefit from it.